Swedish battery company Northvolt has filed for bankruptcy in the US in a setback for Europe's ambitions to compete with the largest Asian producers of lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. The company's co-founder and chief executive, Peter Carlson, will also step down from the struggling battery maker. The news highlights the difficulty of scaling up production of lithium-ion batteries, especially at a cost that is competitive with Chinese companies. One of the biggest sort of challenges facing European producers who are just starting off production at these sites is achieving the required sort of utilization rate of these plants. So um, there's really multiple factors that um, contribute to this. One of the biggest things I think is these people who are operating these Chinese made uh, equipment and you know machinery uh, in terms of uh, operating it as well as maintaining it. If there's some flaws, then that you know puts a halt on your production essentially. Um, so that is a big thing that I think is being spoken about quite a bit in the news now. But also you know lack of skilled labor that is willing to move to these remote uh, facilities and. Um, also, I think the process of actually qualifying these cells for use in EVs is proving to be quite difficult. And while these producers are tackling these problems, uh, they run the risk of you know having their counterparts who've already built out this expertise in this production to be able to, they're investing their, facility, uh, their time and their resources in building bigger and better batteries. And so they risk sort of being left behind a little bit. Northvolt was set to have the fifth highest battery production capacity in Europe in 2030. Its factory in the north of Sweden has an annual capacity to produce 16 gigawatt hours of batteries, but the company struggled to reach even one gigawatt hour battery cell production. While this is a setback, Europe has other battery producers who are scaling up production. When we look at sort of 2030 and the pipeline capacity to 2030, we see that there's a lot of tier one producers that are forming more, um, you know, that are bringing more operations online. And so the actual sort of scale of this change is not that uh, massive. Uh, even if they had expanded to 61 gigawatt hours, they would have made up 5% of the total capacity in the region. But um, currently we see that one of the more notable trends we're seeing in the medium term is actually Chinese facilities being established here. So um, from our latest sort of mega factory assessment, we see that 30% of the capacity in Europe in 2030 is owned by China. And uh, also South Korean uh, companies are actually bringing on quite a lot of capacity online. Um, CATL and Envision ASC are two of the biggest contrib contributors to this. So both of them are supposed to bring up upwards of 90 gigawatt hours of capacity that's announced as of now till 2030. So um, I think when you look at domestically owned European production, North Pole becomes a, you know, a big thing to consider and that represents more of that production. But when you're looking at the bigger picture across all sort of ownership, then it's a fairly small plant relative to you know, what we're actually forecasting the VC in 2030. European battery startups may now need to license Chinese technology to succeed. One of the ways that we're seeing these producers try to combat or sort of alleviate these problems for themselves is by either licensing Chinese tech or forming JVs with Chinese partners. So bringing in that expertise from outside but still having control of these operations and these projects is one way that they could probably you know, make this easier for themselves.